Hello everyone, and welcome to the Hackerlay tutorial. This is actually going to be an introduction part to the tutorial. You know, many of these sessions are going to be quite technical and detailed, but in this part, we would like to take a step back and give you the higher level overview of what we're trying to do with Hackerlay, what the vision is, how you get started, you know, those types of things. Right, so let's dig right in. When you think about the vision for Hackerlade, you know, this is not a trivial thing. This is something that we have thought about for a very long time that has been rooted in experience and decades of you know, plowing through projects uh, in large organization. And the net of it is that what we want to do is we'd want to reconcile business and IT, you know, two parties in a large organization that are not always agree on everything. That's probably an understatement. And we want to try and reconcile them through a shared understanding, a shared understanding of the context and the meaning of data. So making everyone understand what the data is, how it fits into the bigger picture, what it means, what processes it drives, all of these things are going to be part of our highest level vision objectives that we want to realize. And the reasons for that is obviously we think that with the advent of so many more data sources, so many, much more data complexity, so many more different technologies, right, there is a clear risk of this misunderstanding becoming even bigger. So we want to try to manage that complexity because the misalignment, the potential misalignment between business and IT has so many costs, has so many implications that um, really could harm the decision-making processes in large organizations. So that's why, you know, that's what we want to do, right? This is our highest level objective. Um, and the way we are going to try and do that is we are going to try and design, document, and maintain complex data backends in an agile way. We love agile development processes. We support the agile manifesto in the biggest possible way. Uh, but we understand that you know, there are some implications to the traditional way of working with data. And we need to adjust our, not just our processes, our way of working, but also our tooling. Visual modeling and detailed documentation are going to be really important parts of the solution here. We think that these are the key parts to any kind of alignment between business and IT that you are going to achieve. You have to be able to communicate. You cannot communicate with code. You have to make some kind of a visual representation and detailed documentation available to the business users so that they can better understand what the IT department is building and therefore be better aligned with it. And last but not least, you know, in a data-driven world where data has become so much more important, has become the subject of so many more um, an analytical and artificial intelligence processes, for example, the governance of that data is becoming, going to become increasingly important as well. Right, because, you know what, regulators, but also internal uh, auditors and governance staff is going to want to understand what we do with the data, how we process the data, how we protect the data. So all of this is going to be part of our how, right? And in order to achieve the how, obviously Hackerlate being a product company, we have created a product offering that is going to deliver very specific functionalities that are going to deliver the why and the how. Right? And essentially there are three pillars. We will go into a lot more detail of those pillars in the next part of this um, presentation. But for now, suffice to say that the first pillar is going to be a visual data modeling tool for the 21st century, right? where all of the different modern data formats and backend systems are going to be supported. Not just supported, but fully and natively um, uh, supported in all of the aspects. Secondly, we're going to tie all of those physical data modeling capabilities for all of these different uh, 21st century data formats. We're going to tie it together into one unifying concept, which we call polyglot data modeling, where we will facilitate the creation of an enterprise-wide data model that can be used to uh, enable and facilitate a variety of different physical targets. And last but not least, in our tool set, in our product, we are also going to focus a lot on another concept which we call metadata as code, which is that we are going to facilitate the fact that people need to collaborate on these data models, right? They need to version them, they need to be able to uh, track the changes, you know, do reviews uh, together, resolve conflicts, you know, publicize them. All of these different things are going to be um, enabled by our metadata as code concept. And the result of this, hopefully, 
and this is kind of like the overall value proposition of Hackolade and all of its products, is that we deliver better software, higher quality, faster, at a lower cost for our business users. This shared understanding of the context and the meaning of the data is going to allow people to make business sense of their data, while, of course, remaining in compliance with rules and regulations. So let's dive in. Let's go into this short overview of what Hackolade provides, right? A little bit of a more detailed explanation, but of course we will uh, come back to this in future modu modules for sure as well. So what do we mean when we say that we're going to deliver a data modeling tool for the 21st century? Well, it means that we're going to provide developers, architects, and data modelers with all of the functionality they need to do their data modeling right, for the specific data sources, data structures that they are most uh, interested in, in a unified studio environment. We've built this studio from the ground up for this diverse, polyglot, agile world. You will find that it's a very easy to use application that is very, very simple and productive in its usage. The studio has many different plugins for physical targets that are going to allow you to do your data modeling tasks for this specific environment that you are interested in. But we tie it together with polyglot data modeling, where we will have one comprehensive data model that covers all of the different underlying backends, data pipelines, and streaming services and APIs. It will deliver full forward and reverse engineering capabilities with all kinds of automation and customizability features built into the toolset. The long list of different plugins that we offer is always visible on our website. This is a snapshot that you see over here. And as you will find, we constantly update this, you know, based on what we see in the market, but also based on what customers ask us, we are going to be developing new features, new plugins all the time. And when we say metadata as code, then it's probably useful to explain in a little bit of detail that what this means is that we're going to deliver the same level of governance over our schemas, our data models, our metadata, as we do for the code that we're already making. Right? The code that we're already developing together collaboratively is also really important to manage that and to govern that in an excellent way. And today, most technical teams use Git for this. Git in one of its variations, right? There's many different platform providers for Git are fantastic repositories to provide control, versioning, collaboration, and all kinds of pipeline automation. What we're going to do with our data modeling capabilities is we're going to co-locate all of the metadata together with the code so that it can be taken care of with the same level of governance as we do for that code really, really important. And we think that it will enable the data modeling environment to really align with the development methodology that we find in the agile world, the infinite loop, right? Where, you know, we never stop, you know, going through the iterations of our software development lifecycle. Well, we're also never going to stop going through the modeling metadata maintenance lifecycle that um, is necessary to keep everything up to date all the time. Hackolade is a unique capability. It's been built from the ground up since 2016. Um, it's based on some unique capabilities, unique technologies that have been patented. It runs on all kinds of platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux, also Docker. It's really simple to get, insta to get installed and to get started with. And, you know, it's, it's got a unique collection of plugins um, to enable your reverse and forward engineering of your data models. We've talked about the polyglot data modeling and the integration with Git already. What we haven't talked about it yet, yet, but we will talk about it in the future, is that we also have unique integration capability with data dictionaries so that we better support our uh, business stakeholders. That wraps up this little overview section of the tutorial. Um, I'm going to point you to some reading materials, um, obviously our documentation, our blog, the fantastic new book on MongoDB data modeling, which I should add also has a, a bunch of uh, siblings uh, for Near4j data modeling, uh, for Oracle 23C, for Elasticsearch, and there are some additional books coming in the near future as well. With that, I'm going to wrap up this uh, overview, and thank you for your attention, and wish you a wonderful rest of your day.